If you're trapped in an elevator with someone and they say, hey, boy crisis, like, what do you mean? What do you say to them? I say boys all around the world in all 56 of the largest developed nations are falling behind girls in every single academic subject, especially in reading and writing. Doing well in reading and writing is the single biggest academic predictor of success. Boys are more than twice as likely to be diagnosed with ADHD than girls, more than five times as likely to find themselves in juvenile detention, much less likely to graduate from high school. If they do go to college, they will find themselves comprising only 40.5% of college students. If you don't go to college, then you are struggling to find a job. Between the ages of 10 and 14, boys' suicide rate is twice that of girls. Between that of 15 and 19, it's four times that of girls. And between the ages of 20 and 24, it is five times that of girls. Income for men has declined in real terms since 1990. Almost 15% of male community college students dropped out in 2020 alone. About one third of all men are either out of the job market or unemployed or have dropped out in some form or fashion. That number is mind blowing. Boys are more than twice as likely to die from opiate overdoses as girls are. Deaths of despair among middle-aged men are reaching record and unprecedented levels. So if you trace it from boyhood to manhood, it all looks rough. And we have men out there who have no sense of purpose, who are not being taught to love and be loved. And we really need to make it part of our national calling to say to men, we need you as we have in the past.